All right, this is my sump area. You guys can see a whole bunch of detritus. All right, I got everything situated and back. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing well today. If you guys are new here, this is Hugh, and we do videos on reef tanks or anything I like, actually. But this is my water box 7225 tank, and we've had it up for... I think a year or two now and if you guys check with the playlist i have the entire build of the whole frankenstein thing that i did down here including um plumbing and setting up everything from scratch so if you guys are interested check out the playlist i'll put it up top right here so you guys can check it out and see the build so far but this is where we're at I haven't posted a video in a while. The last video I posted, the tank looked amazing. It looked like it did a whole glow up. But then uh, right after that, I had some setbacks. I had like a bacterial infection or something that took some of my fish. So you notice I don't have my clownfish in here anymore. But um, if you look at the last video, my clownfish was like, acting super weird it was like up top and not very active and uh, one of the commenters mentioned that he looked sick and take him out and quarantine him and everything but then right after that i lost both of my clownfish and a couple of the tangs in the tank as well and uh everybody had uh ick and like a bacterial infection so uh, I didn't take them out or anything like that. It's very hard to catch them and put them into another quarantine tank. All I did was I turned off my UV sterilizer and then I tried to treat the tank with um, Melifix and just continue feeding them. And these guys are all doing okay. Um, did the Melifix it like put my skimmer out of whack? It's just foaming and foaming for weeks and weeks but right now this is where we're at everything's looking fine i put this cabinet right here to uh get ready to put in the um profilux uh controller so it, it reduced my uh access to the back right here so you see the back it has all this uh algae in back i'll try to get to it whenever i have time but for the most part, when uh, looking at the tank, that back uh, that back glass right there has algae and everything. But yeah, check out the tank. Let me know if you guys have any questions on this tank. But today I wanted to do a quick video on uh, something I picked up at BRS. All right, this is my sump area. You guys can see a whole bunch of detritus like all over the place and uh i have like uh just that polyester uh cotton bat in there so i could filter it out and then i'll throw it out every once in a while but you know when you're busy um the detritus just overwhelms the sump and everything like that so this black friday I was keeping an eye out for a uh, fleece roller or filter roller devices that are out there, but a lot of them they're like five seven hundred bucks and then uh I found this in uh at b r s for one eighty by aquamax uh I'm a big fan of aquamax, so you see my reactors and everything up here they're by aquamax. And I thought 180 was a good price to give it a shot. Um, when I was looking up videos, it looked pretty small, but then when it came through, they shipped it to me. The box pretty big. So I'm curious to see how it looks outside of the box. But yeah, for 180, I'm going to give it a shot. 
off the bat with the Black Friday sales and everything, uh, I was watching videos. They were throwing things into the box, um, freebies and all that. But when BRS shipped this to me, they just slapped the label on this box and shipped it. So I didn't get any freebies or anything like that for this and a, a tank that I bought from them. They didn't throw any. They didn't throw any freebies in at all. So let's get this thing out and see what it looks like. Instructions up top has foam and everything. And then it has cardboard on both sides, leaving some room so it doesn't get crushed. Let me pull this out and we'll check it out right now. So when I pulled it out, this is the device right here. And then I guess the, the roller and everything is down here. Like this. All right, I got everything out. It's the uh, thing, the contraption right here, and then they got the motor, the fleece, and uh, I think the power supply right here. So let's get this thing assembled and see if I can fit it in here. Otherwise, I'll have to think of something else to do to kind of hack everything together. All right, here's the main um, device right here. It's out of the cardboard and everything. I just got to assemble the, the motor. The motor, um, the little float switch goes in here and the fleece and everything. Instructions are just one page. Let me get through this and then I'll show you the completed assembly. All right, first step is telling me to loosen these two black uh, nylon screws right here. And these two pieces are rollers. They call it the pulley system. They want you to loosen this, these two, and then pull it out. Something like that. Pull it out. Next step, you grab the spool and then the fleece that they provided. Put it in. Okay, so we have the fleece roll right here with the spool inside. Got the two track pieces out. All you got to do is put the fleece. In like so and then you put your tracks on that keeps the fleece in place on the wall on the two walls right here and on the bottom after you have everything in place, all you got to do is hook the fleece onto the motor right here. So the motor slides into place with these three nylon screws right here. It's pretty easy to do. So here, you just got to fold this up into a triangle, slide it into a slot. Here's my triangle right here. I'm going to slide it in to a slot like that. On this end right here, you're just going to put the spool in, and then you see the two notches right there. Uh, just place the spool on. Let me show you. I'm only one-handed or two-handed, so no tripod or anything like that. All right, the spool is on. I don't have anything hooked up yet, but here's the the uh, float switch goes in here self-explanatory let me uh slide this in and then we'll tighten up the nut so it's gonna look like that 
All right, I got the float switch in here. I wanna, I should have tested it out before, before uh, putting it in. Let's see. Okay, I got the float switch out and here's the test right here. When the water clogs up the filter, the water should rise up since the filter is uh, clogged up and then it's going to trigger this float switch right here and then you see it will move the fleece roller so you get new fleece in and that in turn would let water pass through as it gets clogged up it will trigger this float switch and you get more fleece coming through clean fleece coming through all right besides this float switch right here you could also manually uh trigger the motor to rotate new fleece in for you. It's just a red button right here. I'm looking forward to getting this into the tank. All right, guys, I thought I could do it in one video, but I think it's going to have to be two videos because water needs to come in through this pipe right here. And then my sump, my sump in here. You see how messy everything is? I'm hoping that a uh, fleece roller would fix all of that. But I got two pipes coming down there. And I have no idea how to reroute that because the chamber is so small and it's overflowing through. I don't know how I could reroute that over to here to get into the uh, fleece roller. So what I'm thinking is, I'm my back right here. The two pipes coming down it's all exposed i'm thinking about putting another tank right here just for the fleece roller and then i could add like a another refugium or something i could work with but i could put a tank right here drill the holes under the tank and then pop that uh fleece roller in but it's gonna take too long i'll do this into two videos all right guys I'm back. I'm going to try to make it into one video. I got the tree up yesterday. It's the next day. I got some time. I got the... Originally, I think... I thought it didn't fit in here. So I was thinking about putting a tank here and doing some crazy stuff. This is a water box 16. I was going to try to jam it in here. I picked this up a while back. I forgot about it. It was still in the box. I, I didn't even remember the size actually, but I thought about plumbing it to here and then having it overflow and then having the, the filter in the tank over here. But obviously it's too big and it's too cumbersome and everything. So yesterday I ended up <clears throat> rearranging some things down here and kind of test fitting it. So I had to remove the bracket that was on the side right here that you hang off the tank. I have a sump that has a rim, a top rim right here, so I can't use that anyways. And I was jamming it in, but uh, it was very, very tight with the bracket. And lucky for me, right here where the screws screw onto the bracket, I used it to hang off of this uh, divider right here. And it's balancing a-OK -okay right now. Now I need to get the water from here somehow into the hole right here. There was a one and a half inch uh, elbow. I replaced it with a one inch a one inch uh, bulkhead right there. So right here the water comes through up top right here comes down here I was thinking about blocking this up putting another bulkhead down here and then plumbing it to this bulkhead what's up guys welcome back to the channel it's been a couple of weeks now and I've been kind of lagging on this because I got busy with work and everything but I'm kind of back and forth on how I want to position everything so I made room I took off the bracket to this uh, filter roller. They have a hanging bracket that hangs off the side, but since my sump has a rim around it, it's kind of useless. 
I ended up using the nylon screws right here and it kind of was able to kind of rest on the edge right there and kind of suspend everything. But I don't even know if that's the correct height. And it pushed my skimmer all the way to the back right there, which I don't like. So I thought about it. I went out and I got a new gate valve. Uh, we're going to cut up this plumbing, reroute everything. And my attempt is to hang this uh, whole filter roller similar to the reactors and everything in the back right here. And we're going to move the skimmer to the front so we can access it more easily. So today I went out this inlet right here goes right there. It's a 1.5. I had to reduce it to one because my return piping is a one inch pipe. And I got some pipe cheapo uh Home Depot stuff. It's like four bucks for ten feet. I got some elbows and brackets and we're gonna mock up everything and then try to hang it up see how it goes all right i got the filter out skimmers out whole chamber right here you see how nasty it is i got this pipe right here not a pipe but it's uh it's for drip irrigation i have it hooked up to my calc reactor and as it's overflowing it's overflowing into the return right there. I'm gonna hard plumb this into PVC as well and utilize the hole that we're not gonna be using anymore for the return. Return's gonna go straight into the sump with the filter roller right here. So I'll use that hole to like plumb back the calc reactor. All right, guys, I cut my plumbing right here. Cleaned out the sump. Uh, I just got to clean up some of the salt creep. And then put in a new valve and everything. Dry that up. But yeah, let me get to it. All right. I got everything situated and back. See the pipe right there? This is where it's going. If you guys are new here, I got a calc reactor from Bubble Magus. And the ATO is actually filling up right here. And it's pushing the saturated calc up and into this um, this tube right here. It's, it was made for uh, drip irrigation. And I had the whole line run straight into the pump. But right now, I kind of cleaned it up. But I can do some more work on this and make it all hard plumbed. But I just want to get my tank uh, up and running again. So I'm still using this piece right here until I have more time. It's going down and then into the PVC pipe. PVC pipes here. The saturated calc would get into the sump that way right there. We're going to turn on the main pump and get the siphon back and then get the water flowing. I got to check all of the, the elbows and everything. Make sure there's no leak. Okay, I got the pump on. It has to go and then uh, make it above this line right here. Sorry, my tank's super dirty, but I gotta make it up that line right here and everything overflows down. And then I gotta dial it in, make sure the siphon is, uh, is happening and everything so we get a quiet sump. But here we go, the water coming down. We just got to watch here now. Well, we got to watch all of the pipes, make sure nothing's like leaking. I see some movement down here. So what should be happening is the water flows in, flows into the chamber right here with the fleece and as the fleece gets uh, clogged up the water would rise up 
trigger this this uh, float sensor right here. Once that's triggered, it'll roll new fleece to allow water to go through. Okay, I'm gonna turn off and dial this gate valve in or open it up because this is the emergency drain right here and it's taking on all of the water. All right, got the water flowing through. Open up a little more. All right, I just got it dialed in. So you want a full siphon to reduce the, the gurgling noise and all of that. So you need one of these valves right here. Back then, these things were pretty cheap. Now it's kind of expensive. So got to look out for uh, whenever it's on sale at Bulk Reef Supply. That's the only place I could find it at. Otherwise, I would uh, try a quarter turn. but with the spears valve right here, you get more um, precision out of it. So I dialed it in. So up top right here, you want just very little to trickle through the emergency right here. And then the siphon is through here. You know, it's super dirty, but I'm hoping to blow this out and it'll get captured in the filter roller. But you want the full siphon here. So this whole thing is just filled with water and you don't hear any gurgling noises or anything like that. So far, I'm not hearing that much. But over time, I don't want to wait for the whole video, but over time, this should clog up and then should trigger. So I'm going to wait on that. I'll be sure to update you guys on the new video if everything works and all of that. But yeah. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.